everybody, I'm Callie Coy and I don't feel like talking right now, so... Welcome to my voiceover! I'm gonna start by moisturizing my face because I have really dry skin and I don't use foundation every day so this just helps stuff stick to my face better. When I do my eyebrows, I use a really small brush and that dark shade on the bottom. And I just kind of comb them up with a spoolie and then I try to draw a line at the bottom of my brow and then the top of my brow and I just try and fill in to try and make it look as normal as possible. I have pretty hairy brows already, so I just kind of fill in where there's already hair and just try and make it a little darker in certain spots. And I'm actually going to speed up the video because makeup takes a long time. <laughs> And I just blend them up with a spoolie and then run some brow mascara through them to try and keep my hairs from flying everywhere. Next, I'm going to take some concealer and a flat concealer brush and start to clean up my brows because I am very messy. And without this step, I'd look like I had caterpillars on my forehead. I also bring the excess concealer down to my eyelids to help prime my eyes for eyeshadow. Also, if the concealer brush isn't blending it out, just use your finger. Next, to try and set my eyebrows, I use a setting powder and a dense eye brush and just kind of put it below and above my eyebrow. Also, remember to stay hydrated, but milk tea probably isn't the best choice for that. Next, we're going to be using the Morphe 3502 palette, a big fluffy brush, and a shade that's only slightly darker than your actual skin tone. And you're going to put it all over the lid and into the crease, and you're just going to blend it everywhere. Next, we're going to deepen the crease with a slightly less fluffy brush and a shade that's a bit darker than the last one we used and put it in the crease and not blend it up as high and we're just going to keep it on the outer part of the eye. Now, I'm going to look for my concealer because my desk is a mess and it's always hard to find anything on it. And when you finally find a concealer that's close to your skin tone, you're going to put it under your eyes to help cover the dark circles. And then you're going to use a damp beauty blender and blend it out. And next we're going to use a brighter concealer to make you look more awake and you're going to put it under your eyes and blend it out again. We're going to grab that setting powder from earlier, a beauty blender, and we're going to lightly set under our eyes. I don't use too much powder because it makes me look cakey. I do like to grab a dense face brush afterwards to set right under my eyes to try and stop it from creasing. Then use a beauty blender to blend it all together. Then grab the same eye shadow brushes from earlier to try and fix the edges and blend them out a bit more. For blush, I like to use a cream blush and just put it on my cheeks and then blend it out with a dense face brush. Then I like to use a nice warm brown and a big fluffy brush and bronze my entire face because I always end up looking so much lighter after concealer. <laughs> Most days I don't curl my eyelashes because that's just way too much work and it always makes my eyes water. So I just like to put a nice, generous coat of mascara on my top and bottom lashes. To highlight, I like to get a tiny little brush and some gold highlighter and put it in my inner corners, on my brow bone, and right on the bridge and tip of my nose. I do like to switch to a bigger brush for my cupid bow and my cheekbones. So that's basically it for how I do my makeup almost every day. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye!